What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We got asked, what kind of equipment do I need to start a car YouTube channel? And here's the thing, we're currently sitting in the living room and we're only using an iPhone and a tripod. So this kind of tells you that you don't need all that much to start. But if you want to take your filming to the next level, there is definitely some things that you're going to need. So let's take a look at those things. The first thing we're going to talk about is cameras. The first camera we ever used was the Nikon D3100. This is a pretty old camera and it has a lot of problems with focus. So we stopped using that camera and then we moved on to the iPhone. We used the iPhone for a few videos and then we moved on to the new camera, the Panasonic Lumix G7. It's not the best camera in the world, but it's definitely gonna do the job that you want it to. It's got 4K 25 frames per second and it's got 4K 24 frames per second. And it's got 1080p at 60 frames per second if you wanna get some slow motion footage. But here's the thing, the iPhone already has slow motion at 1080p, 120 frames per second and then 240 frames per second so moral of the story you need a 4k camera yes because everybody nowadays films and uploads in 4k so this is just one of the things that you're gonna have to do and yes i know the iphone has 4k at 60 frames per second but apparently it's not true 4k but you could still use it as we are using it right now we always film our videos on this camera so we're gonna switch to it now now we're on the lumix and hopefully it looks better and the second thing we're gonna talk about is microphones now this was the first microphone we ever used we used to just directly plug this into the iphone and then would have this much length for the microphone. So then I'd attach it to the shirt and use it to speak. And here's the thing, these are very, very cheap. That's the good thing about them. But the very bad thing about them is they do more harm to your audio than good. So if you could just avoid these microphones in general, that would be a great idea. And you could just maybe save up and upgrade and get yourself one of those microphones. So there's two key features about this microphone. It's got a dead cat, which protects your audio from the wind and it has a pretty big microphone. And this is the box or the brand of this specific microphone. It's C-A-N-D-C. However you want to pronounce it, it's pretty good. There's also another brand called Boya or Boja, something like that. It's also pretty good and it's better than this one, but it's a bit more expensive. So we just stuck with this one because it's technically all the same thing. And this microphone is genuinely good. Now we're gonna plug it in the camera. Now that the microphone is on the camera, I am 100% sure that it sounds a whole lot better. It's cool to have a microphone inside, but when you're outside, you really do need a microphone. Next thing we're gonna talk about is action cameras. Now here's the thing, you don't really need to go buy a GoPro Hero 10, but at the same time, you don't wanna buy one of those shady action cameras you see online. I had to do a lot of research to find this camera. This is the Acaso V50X. And this camera is great. It shoots in true 4K, 30 frames per second, and it's not really Really, really necessary to have 4k on this camera because you're gonna be using it for mounted shots on the car and it, you can buy some mounts and some accessories that are very very cheap and the next thing we're gonna talk about is tripods now this is a tiny tripod that that is called gorilla pod by Joby I think Joe by Joby whatever and tripods are very important because they're gonna keep your video stable and you know what you don't want an unstable video. This camera has very bad image stabilization. So whenever we're filming anything handheld, it always comes back like this. And that's the problem when we try to film shots of the car, we always need a tripod because if we just hold the camera and then we go home and look at the videos and it's just kind of all over the place. So you always need a tripod. So try to have as much tripods lying around as you can because different tripods can be useful for different scenarios. The next thing we're gonna talk about is SD cards. Now I do have a few SD cards, but here's the thing, if you're gonna be filming in 4K, you need one of those, okay? And this is the SanDisk Extreme Pro. And from what I know is you need this U3 thing on top here. Apparently this U3 thing is good for 4K videos and you need something that says 4K Ultra HD and blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that you can check out and it explains SD cards in detail and it explains how a good SD card will save your footage and a bad SD card will ruin your quality and it might just break on you and if it does you're gonna lose all your footage and you're gonna go home and not find your videos and you're gonna be very upset. So just invest in a good SD card and save yourself from the trouble. The next thing we're gonna talk about is a green screen. We've been using a green screen for our videos lately and to be honest with you it's been a lot of fun but there's a few things that I've learned using a green screen and the most important thing is you need a lot of light on the green screen because if you don't when you come later on to edit you're gonna hate your life. So make sure if you're ever going to use a green screen to just light it up very well. Don't focus on yourself as much as you want to focus on the green screen because if you have very good lighting on you but the green screen has no good lighting, then it's a problem. Now, I don't know what material this is, but anything green will do the trick for you. If you've got a towel, if you've got some green paper, or if you can just find some green fabric. What do you think this is? So apparently this material is called felt. And yeah, don't wear a green shirt around a green screen. Next and final thing we're gonna talk about is a good camera bag. Now, you can't have all these things and not have a camera bag. That would make no sense. Because let's say you're going out to film a car review. Where are you gonna put your stuff? Yes, you can put your stuff in a backpack. So if you can do that, that's good. But if you wanna seem cool and feel cool, 
it's always a good idea to carry a camera bag around. And it's just, it's small, but not that small, so it could fit our cameras, which is which is the Lumix, the microphone, the tripod, the little action camera, a battery, the chargers, and SD cards, and all these things that we're really gonna need when we're filming. It's padded. Get yourself a camera bag. They're padded and they're secure, and they're surely gonna keep all your stuff safe in there. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the stuff we use as of now. We obviously have a lot of stuff that we threw away and a lot of stuff that we don't use. So the stuff that I showed you here today probably should be the things that you prioritize. So if you really want to start, but you still can't afford a camera and you can't afford the equipment, you can you can just film from your phone. And I promise you, nobody is going to mind. We used to have more views when we used to film off my phone than we do now. So it's your content. And now I feel like we're really insulting the channel. here. <laughs> like, I haven't said anything nice since we sat down. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any more questions, please let me know down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys next video.